Hey guys, see here today we're not even wasting time with the intro, we're just jumping straight into it, okay? The first reason why your sex life is boring, yes, Ogechi, I'm talking to you. The first reason why your sex life is boring is because you are lazy and you are out of shape. Yes, I said it, okay? I'm not here to come and start making people feel good about yourself and be like, oh my god, it's the man, it's the man, it's the man. Today, we're telling ourselves the truth. We're talking about why you, 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 why is your sex life boring? It's not about what your husband is doing. Yes, we know that men have their own parts to play in our sex life and all of that, our husbands. But I'm talking about you, sis. Today is our day. Anyway, I'm supposed to do my makeup. I'm getting ready for a date, okay? So, yeah, I'm supposed to do my makeup while I talk. I'm just going to try and be fast with it, okay? Yeah, so, you're always complaining. Oh, my husband is a three minutes man he doesn't last in bed he doesn't last in bed okay now i have ogechi climb on top i don't know i'm talking to ogechi today i don't even know who's ogechi oh yeah ogechi take charge be on top now stay do your own thing after 30 seconds you are tired they have to literally help you out of the position out of the mountain you climbed they have to help you out you're already tired you're already panting like <laughs> like a lazy cow hmm? yes you're already panting we know this thing so but when you're talking about oh why is your sex life boring you now be say my husband does not do this my husband does not do that no 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 no. we're not even here talking about how to make sex make your sex life more interesting for your husband we're not about the men today okay we're about ourselves how to make it more interesting for ourselves okay many of you are lazy because we know or many of us i'm going to add myself because i know me i'm in this i'm on this table Many of us are lazy because we know that anyhow you look, your husband is going to smash. He does not care about your folds, your stretch marks, your big belly, your this and that. He understands that you've given birth to his beautiful children. So what's the point trying to keep up? You know, what's the point trying to be in shape? What's the point trying to look peng, you know? I'm not saying that we should do everything we do because of our men, but I'm saying once in a while, try and, you know, spice things up. I feel like I'm not going to do my makeup today. The way I'm already going, I've already talked too much. I've not even done one thing. When you are in shape, you are going to be better at so many, so many things in your life, including the physical activity of having sex. Yes, it's a physical activity. So, please get in shape or go and join the gym. Do what you can to lose the weight, to lose the fat. Uh, nobody's saying you should turn to like but many of us cannot be cannot become how we were before we got married by the way this video is for married women no? okay if you're not married and you're thinking about how to spice up your sex life then your case is very different i don't even know what to say to you if you're not yet married but you're already losing it <laughs> sister this is for married women only okay why are you even having sex if you're not married anyway so as i was saying my dear like you cannot take charge for like more than one minute you're already panting you're already feel about to die you know <laughs> They have to help you out of position, you know, they have to change position so that their wife, your, their wives will not die. Then there's something wrong, you need to really work on it, okay? So, okay, so the second reason, Tinuke, you, yes, Tinuke, the second reason why your sex life is boring is because you think you're the only one with problems. You think it's only you that has children. It's only you that life is, is really dealing with. It's only you that exchange rate is affecting. It's only you that Nigeria is happening to. You think it's only you. My sister, it's not only you. My sister, forget about your sorrow and enjoy yourself. It's not every time you are thinking. You are thinking, oh, guys, they are panting, sweating, trying to make you happy. But your mind is in... Uh, what's your cooking for dinner? Uh, what to do with your business? Uh, your children's uh, school fees? Uh, which country will be better for you people to relocate to? Uh, your Canada visa? Uh, your this. You are there thinking, and because of it, you are not enjoying it. You are not participating well. You are just, you are just going. You are just allowing him to do what he has to do so that he can get out, so he can continue your thinking. Sister, relax, relax. Is enough. <laughs> Ah, uh ah, -uh, it's enough. Relax and enjoy yourself. Relax and have sex. How many minutes do you normally last self having sex? Let's tell ourselves the truth. How many minutes of sex love last that? That, those few minutes that you need to just enjoy yourself and, be, and feel good, that is when you want to remember all the problems of this world. My sister, relax yourself. Eh? Relax and enjoy it, okay? Go with the flow. Have fun. Mm? Have fun. You're not the only one that has problems. You think your husband does not have problems. You think him too is not thinking about, you know, all these things you're thinking about. He is. But at that point, you know, he's allowing his genitals take over. Okay? So, allow your genitals take over. <laughs> okay? I might speak to somebody. Allow your genitals take over. Okay? If you need to take something to make you forget, maybe like, not forget, but, you know, be out of your, your um, thinking. Is not taking our colleague now? yeah like take alcohol if you need to take alcohol you know something to make you more in the mood then please by all means go ahead and take it because at the end of the day like i said 
You are not the first person to have issues, okay? But many people are out there living their best life, enjoying their sex life, okay? Your husband wants to have sex at an odd hour, okay? Maybe like in the afternoon, you know, times when it's not just regular night time that you're always having sex as if you're a, you're a, you're a bat. Are you a bat? <laughs> As always operating at night, are you a bat that everything must happen at night? Spice it up during the day, try different positions in different places of your house, you know. But you're there worried about your children walking in. I'm not saying you should go and have sex with your children, you know, being accessible or, or having access to where you're having sex, but you can actually like find a way to get your children out of the way and enjoy yourself. You guys, I, I received a call and I just forgot about myself, anyway. So, the third reason, or is it third? Yes. Yeah, the third reason why you're not enjoying your sex life, okay, Zena, I'm talking to you. Hey, Kaite, I'm talking to you. The reason why you're not enjoying your sex life is because you're not taking care of yourself physically, okay? You know that you don't look good. You don't even look good to yourself, so you are conscious of how you look, and you're conscious of, you know, what your husband might be seeing, what your husband might be thinking, and because of it, you're more in your head than, you know, than you should be. You know, it's not even about your husband sometimes. Sometimes it's just that you, you don't feel good with yourself. So you don't really just know how to um, release you. I don't know how to explain it. I, don't, I know some of you understand what I mean. Typically for me, whenever I don't feel like I look good, it's not even just hygiene now, okay? Even though hygiene is part of it, like me. Personally, I can't have sex without having my bath or when my body is dirty. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I don't know how people do it. I can't. I don't mind rushing in and bathing two seconds bath. But you see that bath, I must go and bath that bath. But it's even beyond hygiene, it's about how you feel. Maybe your hair is not done, you know, your nails are not done. For people that like doing hair and nails, that feeling of, oh, loving yourself and feeling good about yourself, they might not just have it. So that time you're not just feeling, actually, a lot of things can contribute to that feeling, okay? But whatever you can do to make yourself feel better, both physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever it is that you can do, Please try and do it. You owe it to yourself. I'm not even talking about, oh, what to make your husband enjoy it or what to be more pleasing to your husband. No, we're talking about you right now, okay? Because many of us, especially women, we like to downplay the importance of sex. We like to make it look as if it's a man's thing. But really, we all need it. We all need it to feel good. We all need it to feel, you know, happy, more connected to our spouses. We need that endorphin. Is it endorphin now? Is it hormone or that thing that goes around that chemical or whatever that is released in your body after you orgasm and stuff? It's really important. Men put down play the importance of it, but it's really important to make you feel, you know, for your overall health and well-being, right? So the reason why your sex life is boring is because you are not open to exploring. You are still young. How old are you? You have not even reached sixty. Okay, if you are, if you are less than sixty, to me you are still young. <laughs> but that's the truth. If you're less than 60, you're still young. You've not even reached 60. But when they say try this one, no, I don't want to try it though. Or you do this one, mm -mm, I don't, I'm not, I, I, I don't like to try all those kind of things. Me, I just want, you just want straight, <laughs> you just want straight positions. You just want to be there. Eh? Missionary is meant for you to go out into the world and win people to Christ, okay? It's not for the bedroom, right? <laughs> I'm not saying you should not do missionary in your bedroom, but I'm just saying that try and spice things up. Try and try to try and try new things, okay? And it's not just about the sex itself. It's about trying things that can help you enjoy sex better. If you have to do, you know, some kind of foreplay, learn different types of foreplay. If it means um, taking, you know, aphrodisiacs, okay? They're natural aphrodisiacs. They are drugs. They are things that you can take to help you in the, be in the mood. Please, I'm not saying you can take Kenya Mata. I don't know anything about Kenya Mata, please. I don't understand the concept of Kenya Mata. I don't understand what they mean by that, okay? I don't know what, what it's supposed to do. So I'm not saying, I don't even understand what I just do in my eye right now. Yeah, so I'm not saying that you should go and do Kenya Mata or whatever, but I'm saying that there are, you know, medical things. There are things you can find in the pharmacy that can help you, um, you know, spice up your sex life. The one I heard of recently is Spanish Fly, okay? so. If you can go and look for Spanish fly or ask people of, you know, similar things that they can take, you can ask your doctor. I heard that there are different types of Spanish fly. There's a fake one and all of that. Anyway, my point is be open to trying new things to see how it will work for you in the bedroom. Don't be one of those women that when your husband tries something on you, you're now offended. You're like, ah, where did you learn this one from? Who taught you, who taught you this one? Hey, why are you doing this one? 
well, I know some 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 relationships are devoid of trust. Some relationships, your husbands are not, you know, good people. I understand that one, okay. But I'm just saying, if all things being equal, if your husband is trying something, you don't be there thinking, eh, where did he learn this one from? Which woman is teaching him? Hey, maybe he's just watching, you know, things online, okay. So try new things, try. Okay, try new positions, leave your bedroom, leave your leave your room, okay, leave your room, <laughs> try new places in your house. Yeah, people are actually doing things to spice up their sex life, okay? It is not, it doesn't come naturally to many people, it, that's the truth. So, don't be there thinking your own is different, don't be there thinking that other people have it natural, why do you need to go and take drugs for your own to work? A lot of women are struggling, a lot of people, a lot of women, I'm talking about women now, a lot of women on their own, cannot even orgasm, a lot of women on their own cannot, you know, enjoy sex as much as they should, they are doing things to help them. If they don't told you, let me tell you now, just go and gently do your own thing to help yourself. There's no shame in it, okay? For me, self, what you should be ashamed of is having a boring sex life when you're just 30, yeah? You are just 35 and your sex life is already boring. You're already, you're already ready to, to, to retire. You're just 35, you're not even, where your life is supposed to be starting. In fact, 35 is even still young. 40, you're supposed to be starting enjoying yourself even more. That's when you're retiring with your husband. It's not good. So, so the next reason why your sex life is boring, is tiring, is dry. Yes, you have not dealt with your issues concerning sex. Some of you have deep-rooted issues concerning sex, okay? And I'm being serious right now. Some of you, the reasons why you have issues concerning sex is because of your first encounter with sex. Some people were abused as kids. Some people, their first encounter was rape. Some people, their first encounter was very terrible. It might not be rape, but it might be terrible sex, okay? Some people, their first encounter or things they have been told about sex growing up has really, really sunk in. It's really, really disturbing to them that they don't even enjoy sex they are always in their head some people literally like physically stiffen up they call it um it has a name shy it has a medical name some people stiffen up stiffen up once you know sex is starting like once your husband is getting freaky you guys know that feel that time now when he's getting freaky when he wants to start you know pressing button trying to get you in the zone you just quickly start you know having having this aversion towards it um i'm not talking about aversion to your husband it's not like your husband did something it's not like that time when maybe your husband's annoying you and he wants sex no i'm talking about just normally thought of sex makes you panic okay makes you panic you you have this deep deep issues with sex i don't know how to explain it Shah. some people even feel like sex should not be enjoyed they feel like if they're enjoying sex they're doing something bad some people come from a religious it might be a religious angle where they have been told for years and years and years that sex is bad sex is not good and then even when they are married though when it is now their, their rights it is not your rights to have the sex you know they can't even enjoy it because of what their minds have been what they are they are used to, what they've been told all these years talk to somebody about it go you know try and renew your mind try and read the word of god you know try and pray about it if you're a christian try and disabuse your mind of all those things that are holding you back because sex was created by god okay let me bend down and say it very well in case you not hear me sex was created by god for you that you are married to enjoy yeah it was created for you to enjoy god knows that you're having sex and no he does not consider it as a sin because it's your husband he's not seeing it as a sin he's not he's not holding it against you okay you can finish having sex right now and pray the next minute god will answer your prayer very well okay in fact it may be even more said because you you'll be free your mind will be free <laughs> you won't be holding grudges you that you'll be in a happy mood so your answer your prayers will be answered okay stop holding on to all those archaic notions of sex or you know perverted notions of sex because it is you that is affecting last class like i said we all know that these men most times are going to finish whether we enjoy it or not so you're doing yourself at the end of the day because he's gonna finish he's gonna reach his destination whether you enjoyed it i be you know enjoy him he's going to finish so, so another reason and this reason is quite serious okay anybody who is experiencing this needs to get themselves checked as soon as possible i'm thinking of clothes to use under my eye and that is medical reasons okay for some people they are actually they actually have medical reasons why they do not enjoy sex and because they don't enjoy sex they're not ready to spice it up they're not ready to do anything they just want to stay there and get it over with 
they just stay there like log of wood. Like some people have, some people cannot, um, you know, orgasm at all. I don't know. Yeah, at all. Or maybe, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I don't know if anybody can orgasm at all. But yeah, people have serious reasons why. And some people have that thing they call vegemosis or something like that. So some people have that thing where, like I was saying before, they stiffen up, like they literally stiffen up. They, yeah, like literally, in fact, not, not just stiffen off, it becomes like almost like you can, they cannot get um, penetrated, okay? Yeah, it gets that bad, they can't get penetrated, or even if they do, it's very painful, it's very uncomfortable, both for them and their spouses. Actually, when it's a spouse that loves you and, you know, doesn't want to see you in pain, it's very disheartening and because of it the guy might just decide not to you know try hard anymore um yeah some people some people have issues with getting wet you know getting duplicated some people have issues with so many medical issues it can be hormonal it can be time of the month you know which are things that you can solve with either waiting till when you are now in a better mood or taking some supplements and you know things to regulate your hormone but some people need to actually go to the doctor and have themselves checked like doctor needs to go and examine them very well to be sure that there's nothing more serious going on or even if there's something more serious going on there are medical procedures that they can undergo to help solve those problems okay yeah so yeah that's my mindset when it comes to things like this so i always say that anything you can help help it anything you can solve solve it anything that is stopping you from living your best life okay Better treat it, though. better better find a way to overcome that thing, even if it is self-esteem issues. It is called self-esteem. It is you that is going to affect. It's not me that's going to affect if you don't like your body. It's not me. It's not, I won't be in my house saying, oh my god, <laughs> Chine here does not like her body. <laughs> it's not going <laughs> That's the truth. I won't be on my bed thinking, hey, so Amaka does not like her bum bum. Oh. Amaka does not like her tummy. Oh. Amaka does not like her, her arms. Oh. I won't be on my bed thinking that, okay, it is you is going to affect. It is you is going to stop from achieving things in your life. It is you is going to stop from enjoying your life or enjoying your sex life. It is you that your self esteem or your lack of it is going to affect. So do whatever it takes. To get you to where you need to be there's no excuse stop feeling like a victim not everything oh the man is the man that cost it. the man that cost it okay as they have finished costing it what have you done to try and solve your situation what have you tried to, to what have you done to try and help it if your husband is the problem have you talked to him about it have you got a solution for him have you taken him to the doctor have you done things to try and help his situation Mm? That's you're here complaining, thinking that your life is over because you know you're not enjoying sex. Uh, yeah, let me go and get ready. I've already worn my outfit. I just want to wear my wig and wear my shoes, and I'll show you guys what my date outfit looks like. Okay. Loving how you wind up for me tonight is all on me. My shop the place for me. Yeah, yeah. She just want a high life. Ooh wee, that body talk to me. I need a taste, baby. Taste, baby. Loving the way, yeah. loving the way you move around me. No more delay. No, you can't wait to shut it down. Want you show me how you work it? I can't find no flaws, you perfect. Cause every time that you come around my way, I keep falling, falling big I keep falling, falling big okay so i am done now how do i look <laughs> you guys this is an old wig i know somebody's going to ask me if i can find where i reviewed this wig and put it in the description box but it was not this color i had it dyed to this color and yeah that's the final look i look so pretty i look so delicious if i might say so myself okay <laughs> I look so delicious. I like where I look. Anyway, yeah, that's it for today's video. That's what I said. Let me come and tell you guys though, because I have talked to different women and I have discovered that majority of women have the same problem when it comes to sex. Many of us are not enjoying sex. Many of us are, are not having sex enough. Many of us do not take charge during sex. Many of us feel like our husbands want it too much and we don't want it enough. It's the story of many women. There are women who are okay. There are even the ones that are the, you know, that are pushing for it. Those people are different. This video is not for them. This video is for women who are looking for answers or women, you know, 
who need to hear the hard truth, okay? Because sometimes we like to blame others, we like to make it look as if the problem is with the other person. If only he can do this, I'll be better. If only he can do this, I'll be better. But sometimes, sis, you need to hear the hard truth and you need to know that you yourself might just be the problem, okay? It does, it's not a bad thing for you to acknowledge that you're the one that has the issue, okay? It's not a bad thing. For me, it is a positive step in the right direction or is the right right is a step whatever it is a is a good thing for you to acknowledge that you have issues or you have things that you need to resolve within yourself or about yourself you know for you to enjoy your sex life better like i said it's not about your husband or how he feels about sex or you know satisfying him it's not about him it's about you right now your wants your needs your satisfaction you enjoying sex you taking charge you not feeling like sex is something that is being done to you but something that you actively participate in and enjoy and have fun with okay yeah so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys